Good morning. Today's date is July 29th, 2013. My name is Pastor Dallas Walker. I'm the pastor of Fountain of Love Ministries located in North Lauderdale. We use this facility here because we had um, had a ordination, we had a banquet, and this week, July 26, 20, July 26, 27, 28, we had a um, four year anniversary for our church. And this has been four years that we celebrate in our church. And I love this facility because it's very spacious and we, it equips us to do whatever we need to do. Um, yesterday we had a prayer breakfast and um, it was able to facilitate that. And this is just an awesome building that you can come and do any event, church event, um, prayer event, any kind of event that, and I love this building. I will rent it over and over and over. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I'll fear no evil for the Lord. And then from there we went to the Holiday Inn 
on university until then the, the art, until our building was prepared. We strive to create an environment where you all can feel safe no matter where you are in life because Fountain of Love is a place where we love like him. Fountain of Love Ministries is about nurturing, caring, loving, equipment, equipping, and empowering people to be who God has created them to be. Together, in the same mind, grant unto us your representative a moment to speak your word as you will come behind the signs follow. We thank you that we have working in the light this and all manner of other people for every man of the world. Each department operates in the Exodus of Ministry and Intercession. We have the Doctor of Love Ministry, gifts of the counterfeit of this body, to so we all have the unity of faith and the knowledge of the Son of God as a mature person. Not without the love of people will be children tossed to and fro and carried about with every way of doctrine. We speak the truth they love. We are growing and witnessed by the believers, becoming 500 strong. We have every need met. Therefore, we meet the needs of the people, for by spirit, soul, and body. We ask for the wisdom of God in many of these needs. Father, we thank you for the ministry of that the Lord may be the ease of the ministry. You, you have called us to. Thousand of love is prospering financially, and we have more than enough to keep every situation. We have everything we need to carry out your great commission and reach your our day and Palm Beach area for Jesus. We are people of love, and love is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Spirit. We thank you that the word of God is living in all of us, and Jesus is Lord. We are a supernatural church composed of supernatural people doing supernatural things, for we are neighbors together with God. We thank you for your presence among us, and we lift our hands and praise your holy name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We agree in Jesus' name. She'll ask me what's going on. She won't get in my personal business. She respect 
that I'm kind of a little close, don't really talk about certain things, but she respects that. But she's always had, they always given me love from the day I stepped in this door to the point where I made a commitment to come every, try to come every Sunday unless I have to work. But I did my best not to work. Just to come and sit here and hear the word and get that love that will let me go through the rest of the week. The force me to help me with prayer and everything. And I never been a church type of person, never went to church. But now that I'm here, I'm not going nowhere. And I love you both. And I thank you so, so much for paying that for me and never, ever giving up on me through all my trials and tribulations. Um, I've been a member of Found in Love about a little over two years, and I can honestly say from the first time I was in the door, the biggest smile from the elder and pastor just, you know, just was so welcoming and made you feel welcome. I come from Pentecostal Church, and uh, you yeah. want to speak to the pastor, there should be have to make an appointment for the church secretary. Here is nothing like that. Open door policy. You can come in and talk when you want. Yeah. And you're always there. And just the love that they have and they've shown, just, you know, it's just awesome. It's beyond words to describe. I just want to say I love y'all. I thank y'all for everything. Being the great shepherds that y'all get to lead our sheep. Amen. Happy anniversary. Amen. Amen. Good one. I've been here. I, well, I was invited by Liz. Mm -hmm. And when. She told us to come. It was no, it was no problem. We came. Oh, yeah. I don't mind going to church. Yeah. But it's nothing like fountain of love. Me and my kids left last year in August. We visited through churches up there in Georgia. We even went to my father's church. But it's nothing like fountain of love. But I always tuck you all with me. I went through a lot. Yes. Even when I left. When I left, before I left, I was my heart was here, but my mind was everywhere. I didn't have nobody in my ear saying, don't stay. I didn't talk about my problems to people. I kept everything to me. I felt like if I would have had talked to somebody, I probably would have, they probably would have told me, don't leave. But me being so stubborn, I'm just going to go anyway. No direction. But I still made it because of God. Me and my kids, we made it. But I realized that's not where I needed to be. And this year in April, it was a just too much. I called the pastor. I made a phone call. I couldn't find a phone number in the cell phone. It's like I just kept going over. I just kept just going over to them. I got my son's cell phone. I said, I know her number in here. <laughs> and I gave her a call. She gave me the number. As soon as I typed in the number, name popped up. But all that time is going back and forth, going back and forth. To sum this up, I called to talk to her. And yes, she prayed for me. But one thing I did mention to her, no matter what happened, I'm still coming back. Meaning I'm coming back and I'm coming back to stay in the house of the Lord, fountain of love. I am here and I'm not going nowhere. Amen. And the time that I, when I first came back, I didn't come here, but I still went to a church. But I'm, I'm here now. And that's all that matters. And I just thank God for you all. Yeah. I mean, y'all show us so much love from the very first day. Yeah. And my kids always ask about you all. They always say they want to come back to church. Mm -hmm. I wrong one with me because the other ones, guess they wasn't prepared. <laughs> so I want to say thank you all. Thank you for all the prayers. Mm -hmm. Even though we didn't talk as often, but when I did need it to talk to someone, you was right there for me. And I took whatever we talked about in that phone call and I ran with it. 
And I thank God for the change yes. in me. Yeah. I thank God for the change in me. Yeah. So I just love you all. We love and continue praying for us. Yeah. Amen. Amen.